Spice for the first time after says Stone Boy and then Ghana Aboshatawali Din. No, I reveal something secret I see here between herself and Stone Boy. There's um there's some words out there. There's a riff that's going on on the internet um, where people are saying that you know I didn't mention Shatawali. Yes. And I want to be very clear and yes. so people can understand what the love and the unity that I have for Ghana. Yeah. And he was the one who told me that Shatawali represents Nima. for Nima. Yeah. So it's all love, you know. Mm -hmm. So at the time when I was doing the interview, I was here specifically to talk about Zimba. Jiggle and Wine. Exactly. I'm only here because of Stone Boy. Quick before you met Stone Boy, um, did you know any? artist from Ghana um apart from stone boy yeah yeah me know um <laughs> yeah I know, I know a lot of other artists um mm. from Ghana and do you do you follow them do you follow do you, do you follow them yes you follow their music I do and they know you too you have any obviously, relationship yes. because I want green man uh, I mean. obviously yeah man them, <laughs> them know the queen yeah so what do you think a few days ago on okfm during an exclusive interview with abeku santana just a ghanian spy a bashe spice any stone boy now according to you know conspiracy theory a trendy yeah almost say a stone boy and in the team i catch a spice not to mention shatawale's name probably uh, to avoid giving him mileage and i say to avoid receiving attacks from ono shatter and now pose uh, to avoid the sm fans making mockery of a new stone boy probably by saying say or the spice are bad and now so spice in him shatter more than him now and they say bisan they said does she know any other Ghanaian musician before and i say after stone boy and i'll say yes only more more power now so into me and bo bd in any name says spice happens to be very close to shatter she said oh check it on social media and also how they follow each other also it is a spice at show bb you know shatter by tron yema was here and vice versa into the expected say you know about bo shatter so the bida one bo. Now I know a man crawl for Pierre Bashino. Finally on TV three or the same revelation about two out. According to Spice or say I'm wrong with Jigel and Wine. No, I just say at a point now per se or Bubba Towns be a d a d share. You know this Jigel and Wine. Now Stone Boy a catch and say oh no, Ufra Shyman. He actually represent the people of Ashima. Now ne down for an ane rival Shatawali and so every Nima into a bit me about Ashima and Nima just to put them on the map. And just it's all love between Stone Boy, Spice, and Ono Shatawali. No hit. And he said when me and Boni Din were okay FM. I know in chess say be your time. It was just blown out of proportion. I don't for Mama. You can share that particular video. And a video of the moment you could be more okay FM. Yeah, but I'm so. Um, there's some words out there. There's a riff that's going on on the internet um, where people are saying that, you know, I didn't mention Shatawali. Yes. And I want to be very clear and yes. so people can understand what the love and the unity that I have for Ghana. Yeah. In the song that we did, mm -hmm. um, Jiggle and wine. Remember, I don't speak tree yeah. and I don't know the places, and I've never been here before. So it was Stone Boy that I called, and I was like, I want to include some places. And he told me about, you know, using the. Because in the line of the song, I said, Give me a man from. A shy man, man, or a man from Nima. And he was the one who told me that Shatawali represents. Nima. for Nima. Yeah. So it's all love, you know. Mm -hmm. So at the time when I was doing the interview, I was here specifically to talk about Jiggle and Wine. Exactly. I'm only here because of Stone Boy. He, yeah. he flew me out, you know, want me to experience it mm -hmm. to really talk about, yeah. you know, Jiggle and Wine. So I wanted to keep it that way. I didn't want to cause anything. Yeah. But now that I didn't say it, they're like, oh shit, I thought I shouldn't know. There's yeah. nothing like that. Yeah. So I just want everyone to know it's peace and love and going into the election. Keep it that yeah. way. Peace, love and unity. It, 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 it's yeah, one man. music and one yeah, universal language mm -hmm. and he's the one that told me um Quick, before you met stone boy um did you know any artists from ghana um apart from stone boy yeah yeah me know um <laughs> yeah i know i know a lot of other artists um mm. from ghana and do you do you follow them do you follow do you, do you follow them yes you follow their music i do and they know you too you have any obviously, relationship yes. because i want green man uh, I mean. obviously yeah man them, <laughs> them know the queen
Yeah. So what do you think about Ghana's music? Um, we have different genres. I mean, our, our original genre is high life, uh, which has uh, I mean, um, grown metamorphosis to when hip hop also started coming here. Mm -hmm. You know, fusion of uh, hip hop and high life. We call it uh, hip life. You know, it also dominated the scene for some time, and then you know, new genres also started coming in. Mm -hmm. w what genre do you know about Ghana? You know, Steph, to be honest with you, I really dance all really make me know about Ghana. Because I used to hear the song, and then before I discover the artist, me, I think, says a Jamaican artist, I deliver it. Mm -hmm. So, me, I say, who are who this? And then would I tell me, say, the person from Ghana or a stone boy, and that's really how I kind of discovered the entire country, to be mm -hmm. honest. So, I really dance all make me know it. Um, and then digging further after following like Stone Boy and the other people, them I will get familiar with you know that genre that you're talking about. But my, like my, my, my main thing is really dance all make me kind of listen to the music from Ghana, to be honest. Let me come to my president, uh, Ghana's most respected music CEO, Stone Boy, the artist <laughs> of the year. Yes, my father. Yo, Kim, um, this year. Mm. You took us to the club. You gave us a club banger, yeah. your body. Yeah. You know, we started grooving with it. Yeah. Then, all of a sudden, you give us, you know, another street, you know, anthem, you know, banger, J J J. J. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I mean, this year, like I said, it's your year. Twenty twenty four is Stone Boy's year. Nobody can take it away from him. Um, when you sit down and you reflect, what what would you say the year means to you? Apart from being the artist of the year, and if you look at your career as an international artist, not a Ghanaian artist, as an international artist, what does this year mean to you personally? Yeah, um, I'd be grateful to God first and foremost for strength because sometimes even the fans feel like, yo, how do you keep going? You know, so that is what I'm going to be grateful for first and foremost. And, and I think all the things that are happening is a, is a, is a pure proof that um stone boy is who he believes he want to be or he can be or who he is in terms of delivering and representing for uh ghanaian music you know in today's time that is what i'll say because being crowned the artist of the year three times you know as a ghanaian artist is, is the first of its kind for him and following that year we are seeing the exploits that he is continuing to contribute to the Ghanaian music scene that will reflect globally, you know, being a career of multiple genres of music, which will be high life, Afrobeat, hip life, whatever it is, dancehall and reggae. I have a lot on my head to deal with. I just came out from Ivory Coast doing collaborations with some of their best, you know, and representing Ghana on that. So I think the international status is definitely well deserved, you know, because this is what we want to do. Of course, this is a very exemplary one to know that the queen of that I can't overemphasize that enough. Be, believe me, this is not child's play for uh, one queen to leave everything she's doing in America and Jamaica to be like, let's do the video shoot because you know this is international business and this is not this is not going to be the first time I am continuing to bridge the gaps between the Caribbean nations Simba. and the African nations. I believe that out there in Jamaica, I am known for that as one of the guys that is very well respected, that is not bowing down even in the search of the heights that Afrobeat is controlling. Stone Boy continues to make sure that I tell the people that, listen, this is music of black origin. Tomorrow, dancer leads. Today, high life leads. The next day, Afrobeat leads. It's all music of black origin. Let us embrace it and continue to build the gap. Wonderful. The Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. How has your transition <coughs> to international artists uh, I mean, affected your lyrics, in the, the lyrics in your music? Because, um, like I said, um, this year, you started with a club banger yeah. like your buddy. Your buddy yeah. And then everybody was like, yo, whoa, Stoneboy is changing now. He's been <laughs> here because he's an international artist. Then yeah. you've given us, you know, a banger that everybody can relate to. You yeah. understand? So how has this international acceptance and recognition and influence affected the lyrics when you're writing your song, when you're making the music? What, what is the focus? It has, it has had me thinking more because it's a matter of capacity. Ever since I realized that I have more inside of me to give, you know, 
I've always been, and from the onset, you've known I've been a dancehall artist from the core, and then reggae, and then the transitioning thereof. So that is it. I think says Spice above a damage control and the Amani home as well as Tomboy. Probably it will be of a big help in future. In TV Bass TV so and uh move well. I wish a video on YouTube and subscribe here. Do well to subscribe. Spice, Shatawali, and Stoneboy, according to her, are one big family. In the enjoy beef no. Yeah, that's it. TV.